cool night air washed over her when she stepped outside. Wind rushed past her and blew through her hair as she made her way to the sidewalk. Stress from the past few days felt like rain at her feet, which each, with each step she took away from the house, down the street, and around the corner, revealing one beautiful building after another. The closer she got to, downtown, to the downtown area, the people passing her on the street thickened like ants flowing from a disturbed anthill. Enticing smells came from the restaurants, and lights flickered from the other shops that lined the street. Within the crowd, the jazz joint was a beacon of orange neon. Antip anticipation seared her as she headed down the gray concrete steps that led below the street. On impulse, she ran her hands along the wall with each step and was mesmerized by the electric sensations that ran along her fingertips, then her arm, and spread to the rest of her body the closer she got to the bottom. The intensity of the connection was the same, sh was the same she felt walking into Patrick's home. But where his house had felt like home, this place was an old friend welcoming her back. I've been here before. The noise of shoe clicks and stomps on the sidewalk faded along with the murmured voices and scattered laughter. As she neared the bottom of the steps, the noise